Hi everyone, it's Miss Dragonfly back again, here to bring you another segment on love and life as it really is. Now, if you haven't heard by now, a Reddit post from an American from February last year has now resurfaced and Oz and to Aussies it's actually quite hilarious. Now in it she speaks in glowing terms about having the most amazing bread ever during her visit down under. Now let's have a look at the post. It goes, I ate bread in Australia and it ruined my life. During my visit to Australia, we visited a grocery store and we bought a loaf of sliced bread. I remember the packaging was orange and it was labelled toast, indicating it was meant to be toasted. Now this bread was the softest, most amazing bread I've ever had in my sad American life. The very first bite was ecstasy. I had around three slices before I even thought about popping some in the toaster. There's more. And the toast was something else. The toast was a godsend. I would pay just to live off of that toast for the rest of my life. It was still soft despite it being toasted. I remember thinking, is this the Australian standard? Is this how they live? Guys, I can't live without that bread. Ever since I got back to America, I've been in pursuit of a bread that can deliver just as well. But I found nothing. Am I doomed to live for the rest of my life without that bread? How am I supposed to go on knowing that such delicacies lie on the other side of the planet and I have no means of access? Please help. <laughs> now Aussies actually find this quite hilarious as the bread was revealed to be tip top sun blessed. Here's the picture. You see it's actually like the bottom of the rung supermarket bread here in Australia. It's the bread that Aussie school kids get as sandwiches in their lunch boxes to take to school. You see, in Australia, unlike the US, uh, schools don't actually provide lunches. There's normally a canteen which you can buy food from or snacks and uh, or you bring your own lunch, as what I had to do. And the talk in Australia is that if an American finds our bottom of the rung bread so delicious, um, we actually dread to think what bread in the US would taste like, even the high end ones, as this uh, American girl here couldn't find any bread that was up to that standard of sun blessed. And if she finds this cheap bread so amazing, then what is she going to think about the more high end bread in Australia, such as even the more expensive supermarket brand bread such as Helga's or from uh, Baker's Delight which is a bread chain in Australia or from one of the artisan bakeries here that I, the numerous artisan bakeries that we have here. In fact it should be mentioned that this American girl added a second postscript to her original post after she discovered that that Aussie bread of her dreams was just simple tip-top bread to us Aussies. She said, she said, I understand Australian supermarket bread isn't the best to some standards, but relative to American supermarket bread, it's the best I've ever had. Unquote. You know, we all hear stories about food in the US, especially from Aussies that have been there and have traveled there, about how huge the serving sizes 
are there, such as the American entree sizes being the same size as an Australian main, and an American main size being enough to feed two people here. And we also hear about how processed the American food was and how it really tasted processed, very processed to an Australian taste bud. In fact, a little story I might tell is I have a friend who told me that she had someone in the US come and stay with her. And throughout his entire stay here, all he ate was McDonald's. I thought about it and, and I came to the conclusion there's two reasons for that. Either he has found McDonald's in Australia so fresh and delicious that he couldn't get enough of it. Um, we do hear from Americans that come here and saying how fresh the McDonald's here is. So I, we dread to think what the McDonald's in the US would be like, to tell you the truth. Or the second explanation is he is so used to eating processed food that that was all he could eat when he was in Australia, which is McDonald's, which is our most processed food because he was so used to eating processed food, he could not eat regular, what to Australians are regular real food. So what are your thoughts? Have you been in both the US and Australia? I mean, were you, are you an American that traveled to Australia on holidays or been an expat here? Or have, are you an Aussie, a local Aussie that has traveled to the US for holidays or been an expat? And if so, how did you find the difference in the food? Is it the same huge servings in the US compared to Australia? and highly processed food compared to Australia. Let me know by leaving your comments below and if you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Well, that's all for today. And until I see you next time, stay safe, confident and gorgeous. Until then, bye for now.